So yeah, so this video is very important. Um, it hits home with myself because I really had to do some reflection. And um, it really helps. And the reason I say it helps is because, well, it's going to help for me to talk about this stuff. And the reason I say it's going to help for me to talk about this stuff because you kind of get it out of your system. And <clears throat> in this video, you'll see that there's a lot of personal reflection and admittance that I have to do about the, some decisions that I made in my own life. And especially since I've been putting out this video, I've been seeing a lot of people who are either in my life, not in my life. I know them through the Internet or... Um, I kind of knew them in college or I know them from passing by from being in different gyms in my life. They've been calling me or hitting me up on social media and letting me know that because of my videos and because of the advice, they're really thinking about becoming an entrepreneur. I want to do this video. Me as Quo Vitis, I believe in myself more than I believe in anything. That's 100% serious. So the reason I want to do this video is because some people don't have that belief and I need to just let you guys know why either I'm in the position that I'm in in my life or why most entrepreneurs are in the positions that they're, they're in in their lives and just let you know the reality of the matter. You know, like um, my last video when I was talking about um, what are you working for? At the end of the video, what I cut out was because it was just too long and I couldn't go into it in depth is that I'm the last video is that I am an all of nothing, all or nothing guy. Like Ariel and I went to Vegas for her birthday. First night I was on a crash table. I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning. And the reason I stopped is just because I got so tired that I, I was almost standing asleep. Right. Second night, I'm down there, I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning. And the reason I stopped is uh, it was kind of a hunch. Like the dice were real hot and then they got cold. So after they got cold for a little while, I budgeted out some money that I was gonna um, gamble for the rest of the night. And it was already about four in the morning. It was time to go. So third night, well, third night that I decided to gamble, because I think we we're in Vegas for like four or five nights. Third night that I decided to gamble, it was an all or nothing night. You know, like I really made some huge bets. But those huge bets could have really brought home some good money. But instead, I mean, it took all the money. And that's the type of guy I am. I am really that all or nothing. I'm an extremist. Um, either I want it all or I really don't want too much. I don't really want like a sample. You know, I want the shit. If we at McDonald's, don't give me the kids meal. Give me that extra deluxe. You feel me? And just because I want it all. Like, and it's all of what I personally want or what I personally think that my hard work and my talent honestly deserves. I'm not like greedy. If if you good in soccer or you good in basketball and that's your lane, that's your lane. I don't want all the fame and the responsibility or the accolades that comes with that. I want all the responsibility that comes with the lane that I choose. And what I want to talk about to you guys is why a lot of entrepreneurs fail. I think most entrepreneurs fail. <clears throat> it's a few things. This video is going to talk about one in particular. And you guys can leave in your comments, which I think why y'all think a lot of entrepreneurs fail, and from there we can begin more conversation. But I think a lot of entrepreneurs fail, and especially for myself, once I got older and I saw so, many, so much more opportunity, it's a gift and a curse. The gift is, you see, opportunity, you see opportunity. You see solutions to problems that are out there. And as you see them, you know, like you get excited and you're like, I can do a little bit of this, and I can do a little bit of that. And I can put my hand in this and I can help so-and-so with this project. And so-and-so wants me to collaborate with them on this project. And so-and-so can come and help me on this project. And I'm trying to do all of these projects but realizing that, I, shit, if I, only, if I only have 100% and I'm doing five different projects, I'm giving each project 20% because I can't give one project 100%. And the reason I can is because 
I only have a hundred percent, right? So that's like if I have 10 hours of my day at work, right? Or regular jobs are eight hours. We're going to budget it up to 10 just to make easy mathematics, right? If I have 10 hours of my day at work and I'm supposed to do five different things, I can give each thing two hours, but I'm not giving one thing a hundred percent. I need to give one thing a hundred percent straight up. I think the reason why I failed so many times with so many companies is because I wasn't giving it a hundred percent. The ones that have actually achieved the, the accolades that they've achieved, because I can't say that I'm a successful entrepreneur because I'm not a billionaire yet, straight up. And I know a lot of people may be like, well, you know, you've done this and you've done that. So what? So that in the grand scheme of things, that really kind of, that, that's just experience. That's all we're going to call that. That's all we're going to call my accolades is practice. So that's all they really are, practice. I haven't had that million dollar company. Shit, I haven't even had a hundred thousand dollar company in a, in a year span. I haven't. Honestly, within myself. But I feel as though the reason I haven't is because I haven't given one thing 100%. Straight up, I'm trying to give 20% to this and give 30% to that and work on this while working on that and do this and do that and do this and be over here and be over there. And no. Focus. Focus is what it takes. In my opinion, most entrepreneurs fail because of the lack of focus. And of course, I'm saying most. I'm not saying all. Some people fail because shit. They wasn't built for this. Some people fail because they're not willing to risk at all. Some people fail because they're not willing to risk. Some people succeed because they are willing to risk. Some people succeed because they're willing to risk it all. Some people succeed because they're willing to work harder. Or, shit, sometimes people are just smarter. You know, you kind of have to take the cards you were dealt and then just play them. Straight up, just play them. Like, shit, I'm pretty sure if you are able to relate and understand my message, you're probably not a rich kid or you weren't born a rich kid or you're probably not even fucking rich at all. So, with that being said, those are the cards that we were dealt. We weren't, we're not silver spoon babies. We got to motherfucking bring it up from the mud. And since we do, I feel as though we deserve the most respect. And this is not me. Fuck that. Fuck a silver spoon kid. I can never respect him as much as I can respect the kid who comes from a tough neighborhood and makes it make something greater themselves because there's so many odds that are against you. You know, back to why a lot of entrepreneurs fail. It's the lack of focus, man. It's the lack of focus. We need to pick one thing and stick with that one fucking thing. Straight up. Stick with the one thing. Stick with it. That's it. If you have a $5 product, Sell it one time, you made five dollars. Sell it twice, you've made ten. Sell it a hundred times, you've made five hundred. Do you get where I'm coming from? All we have to do is the small things over and over and over. And the thing is, we're so creative and we're so energetic and we see so many problems that could be solved that we don't want to do the small shit. We want to do the big shit. But let's look at Donald Trump and his story. Even though Donald Trump and the media isn't the favorite, the favor for the country at all. But Donald Trump and his story says that his father was making fucking garages. We're talking about 12 foot structures that can fit. We're talking about shit, 12 by 20 foot structures. That's it. They were making garages. When I was a kid on 56 and normal in Chicago, we were building tree house. I mean, not tree houses, we were building like little clubhouses. So shit, we could have damn near been on the same scale as Donald Trump's father. And just no disrespect to Donald Trump's father, but if we didn't know what the fuck we were doing, we could have been building garages. Nevertheless, his father was building garages, he learned from him. Now this motherfucker builds skyscrapers. It started small and then it went huge. It went huge. If his father was like, well, I make my little money building garages now. 
I'll go over here and I'll start selling electronics. And I'm still gonna try to build my garages and sell electronics, but also I, I see his money in the trucking business, so I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna buy me some 18 wheelers. And I'm gonna do the 18 wheeler thing, and the truck, I mean, and the fucking electronic thing, and then we still gonna build garages because that's how we make our initial money. And we're trying to do this and do, do that. And it, no, calm the fuck down. Straight up, calm down. Pick one thing and focus on that one thing. If you look at my video or if you look at my other channel, which is called Corvatus Fit. That channel is specifically for people who want to get their body in order. This channel is for people who want to get their brain in order and their mind in order. Who want to, who want to fucking be motivated and inspired and get that inspiration by somebody who really, really, really is on a billionaire run, whether you believe it or not. That's what this channel is for. This channel is for you to, to relate to my personal struggles. Relate or don't relate, I'm going to put my personal struggles out there because I'm not ashamed. The reason I say I'm an entrepreneur who has failed numerous amounts of times and who's probably on a downward spiral right now still failing because I'm still trying is because of the lack of focus. Last year, I took a whole year and, and made apps. I started a company. I invested money into websites and all type of shit, servers and shit like that and I made zero dollars. I did. I made zero dollars. The idea was to make apps for small businesses. Small business aren't ready for apps yet. Just like back before Amazon, they weren't ready for fucking websites. Because they didn't think people would buy microwaves online. But now, motherfuckers are buying microwaves online. So they made a whole lane for Amazon to come in and sell everything online, which is one of the reasons why they're so huge. We don't fucking focus. Amazon focused on selling books. If they would have tried to sell microwaves and headphones and socks and fucking tank tops before they they motherfucking cornered the book market, then Amazon wouldn't be as huge as it is. They probably wouldn't even grew that fast. They would have just been a oversized warehouse with a whole lot of product that nobody really wants to buy because initial initially with no focus it's kind of like why should I even come here and a lot of people say well I want to be a one-stop shop yeah you can be a one-stop shop when you're big enough to be a one-stop shop but now that you're a fucking shack sell shack shit one thing sell one fucking thing and keep selling it and keep selling it and keep selling it and branch off in the future after you get a, a reputable name. Straight up. My issue is that I haven't been focusing on one thing. I haven't. I've been trying to do a little of this and a little of that and, and move this way and do, no, I need to focus on one thing. That one thing has already been picked for me. You guys won't know until I make some money by doing it. But you guys won't know. I told you guys over and over, I don't talk about my next move. I work on my next move. I tell you about my last move. I work on my next move. I tell you about my last move. I can't tell you about something I haven't been through. I wouldn't try to tell you about something I haven't been through. I wouldn't. I tell you one. If y'all follow my face, I mean my Twitter, I put out quotes every morning. Follow it. It'll really help you. But one of my favorite quotes, I say this all the time when I'm talking to people, when I'm trying to lecture people on shit that I think. I never take advice from idiots. I will never go to a math teacher for fucking my, to help me with my English homework. No. Y'all both teachers, but this English professor knows a bit more or practices this a bit more so with that being said I won't be that math teacher who's trying to help you with English homework I'm gonna try it first and then I'm gonna give you guys what I think that's whether you like it or not so most entrepreneurs fail because they don't focus on one thing 
So get your fucking mind right. And as I say this, I'm looking into the camera at myself, telling myself, get your fucking mind right. You gotta pull it together, man. We can't be small time forever. We can be. Pick one thing and focus on it. I am Corvatus Gates. And I am flawed. Working on it.